Hey, this is the Swedish Guitar Nerd, and today I'm, for the first time, reviewing an um, acoustic guitar. So, well, brand new start. Uh, let's see how that goes. Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, I was intending to do... Uh, this is a Fender acoustic guitar. I was intending to do the Fender CD60, uh, but I couldn't get a hold of that. So, uh, I chose this one. It's the Fender uh, CE 140 SCE, and it's uh, yeah, it's similar to the other one. So yeah, and uh, yeah, what does the <laughs> name stand for? Uh, this, this is my guess. The CE, I th the CF. Sorry, did I say CE? CF it was uh, CF. I think stands for Compact Folk. That's just my guess. Uh, and uh, the 140 is, of course, the model number. And then SC is probably single uh, cutaway. And uh, E stands for electronics, since this has a built-in preamp. Okay, yeah, let's go through it. Uh, at the top, we have uh, shallow style uh, tuners, solid High quality tuners, nice. And uh, yeah, we have a mahogany neck uh, with a rosewood fingerboard. And the laminated mahogany on the sides and the back and uh, a solid spruce top. And the rosewood uh, bridge and yeah. A Fishman uh, preamp system and pickup. I'll go through that when I talk about electronics. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, materials and hardware, it gets an eight. Um, yeah, since we have proper tuners, I like that durability wise. Uh, we have a mahogany neck and uh, well, if uh, electric guitar making is conservative, then acoustic guitar making is even worse. So, uh, basically all <laughs> acoustic guitars have some kind of mahogany neck. Nate, oh, that's uh, somewhat close to mahogany. And yeah, like this one, regular mahogany. And I will never give a mahogany neck guitar a 10 for uh, durability, so since it's a softer wood. Uh, they have added this uh, rosewood uh, top on top of the headstock. Uh, I'm not really sure why. Uh, it, I suppose it makes it look more like a 70s, 60s guitar, maybe. Because, I don't know. The mahogany looks just fine to me, so it's not really needed. Uh, the back of the neck is in satin finish and uh, like the front of the headstock and the rest of the body is uh, gloss finished. Uh, yeah, uh, the neck has a black or dark brown binding and the frets are amazing. Uh, really nice quality, very good fret job and uh, they are uh, rather narrow and uh, high. And that, yeah, is to make it, them easier, the guitar easier to play. Uh, we have this nice small inlays. Uh, I should mention there's a mother of pearl inlay. The name, Fender name, looks classy. Yeah, and then we have a five ply binding on the body and um, a single ply in the back. Um, and here we have a uh, mother of pearl uh, inlay rosette as well, as it was my mother of pearl up there. And this looks, well, it doesn't really look that tidy. And this is basically my only complaint. Because, um, yeah, 
Which is nice, you have this pre-intonated thing and uh, it works pretty good. Intonation is spot on on all the strings beside the D and the E string for strange reasons. I don't know. Because they are compensated as well at the bridge. <coughs> yeah, so durability and build quality. It's very nice, well built. And yeah, gets an 8. Okay, playability. Well, it's a really nice neck. Uh, I like the specs of it. It's it's a 25.3 inch scale length. And uh, it's, yeah, I think it's rather narrow for an acoustic guitar. Yeah, it feels right. It has this satin finish. It's really, uh, yeah. It's really easy to play and the frets are really nice so and high. So yeah. And you even going up since this has a single cutaway, uh, it's easy to get up uh, to the higher frets. Um, my only complaint there is that uh, the truss rod seems to be working down to here. So uh, it's nice action because you need some action when you're playing these kind of guitars, uh, some kind of uh, a little bit of high action. So you can really hit the strings uh, and that works well up to here. And then, yeah, it f kind of flattens out and it's not the notes doesn't ring out as well from this point on. So like, uh, yeah the 14th fret so well other than that playability wise it's a nine it's very easy to play and yeah besides the this part the action is really good it really yeah it's as low it, as it can be and it still doesn't bust so and you can really pound the strings okay electronics uh, if this is a really rather cheap guitar actually and um, well, made in China, I suppose that explains the price because there's not much else explaining the low price here. Uh, you should expect like a no-name uh, preamp, if there even was a preamp, and uh, pickup. Well, not here. We have like the industry standard, the Fishman. We have a Sonicore uh, pickup, piezo pickup, and uh, their Precis uh, preamp that has uh, volume, bass, mill, treble, uh, built in tuner, great, and a face switch that's supposed to help you with uh, feedback problems. And as I said, this is high grade components, so it gets a nine. Okay, let's play it. Uh, here, first, I'll play it uh, through. Uh, uh, yeah, I play it electronically, just a piezo. And uh, what I'll do, uh, I've, I'll say first, I have added just a tiny bit of reverb. That's the only effect. Other than that, it's just straight into the computer. Uh, I will start off uh, using a pick and then uh, I will do more finger style playing because I've noticed, I can say that already now, that the pickup, yeah, it suits finger styles playing. I'll get back to that. So I'll start using a pick, then go to finger style, and then I'll uh, add some bass, and then I add some middle, and then I add some treble at the end so you can hear what the since this is uh, an active preamp you can cut and you can boost uh, the frequencies so i will just boost them okay so here's the electric sound of the guitar <laughs> Thank you. 
gets an eight uh yeah it sounds like i don't know i have a hard time telling piezo equipped guitars apart actually uh they all sound the same to me uh, sound wise this guitar has, as you can hear a really nice sustain to it and they really i don't know that shines through uh, the piezo sound can can be rather i don't know doesn't sound that full and that is usually a good thing when you're mixing the guitar with something else if you're playing the guitar by itself well it's it sounds rather thin but uh, in a mix with other instruments because i usually do that i use when i record acoustic guitar i, I usually have just a, a, both the piezo and a, like a live sound of it and i always end up using the piezo sound because that's what like you can hear that through a mix okay and uh, yeah let's try it out acoustically then see what it really sounds like <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, acoustic, it gets an eight for acoustic sound. Um, yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, the body of this guitar is smaller than a regular, uh, the normal uh, like dreadnought uh, acoustic guitar and of course smaller than the jumbo guitar. And that affects the tone of it. It's not as full, it's not as uh, peaking in the mid range. and. Uh, it has a more compressed sound to it. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing, but uh, to me it's not as alive as I'd like my acoustic guitars to be. So all in all it gets an 8.3 and uh, what can I say? It's a really, it's a cheap guitar is, and it's really, really good. It's very much worth its price. Um, I mean, if you pay this kind of money for an acoustic guitar, f like 15 years ago, you get a toy guitar. This is a proper, uh, yeah. This is a serious instrument. Uh, if you buy this one, you might stick with it forever. Like this, it's such a good guitar. Uh, so yeah. I really recommend it. <laughs> this has been the Swedish Guitar Nerd reviewing the Fender uh, CF140SCE acoustic electric guitar. Uh, yeah, see you soon. Bye.